Hi guys, Geetru64 here, and today is Physical Media Tuesday, and today I'll be sharing with you guys another collection update video. I really like doing these because it gives me the opportunity to talk about movies that I normally wouldn't get to talk about here on the channel, just a big variety, and also I get to share with you guys what my pickups are as my collection continues to grow. I've got three stacks of movies here to go through today. Some of these are stuff that I've picked up this month, and some of it is stuff I've picked up over the course of the year. I have a, a whole section, a whole shelf full of movies that I have not shared with you guys that I want to share with you guys in collection update videos. Then once I do that, I'm going to pull those off the shelf and go ahead and work them all in. So it uh, looks like we probably got a couple of those till uh, I'm completely caught up with what my pickups are for the month. But again, kind of a variety here. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, first up is a great steel book, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, I did not see this before I picked it up, even though I'm a big Planet of the Apes fan. I missed it in theaters. I really like this one. I, when I first saw it, I was like, I feel like I like that. I think that was pretty good. And I've watched it again with a friend, and I was like, you know what? I do like this one. I think this is better than War for the Planet of the Apes. Move this man! Move! Maybe that's a hot take. I don't know. Had a lot of fun with it. This still book looks great, by the way. It's probably one of my favorite still books of the year, and it's probably in my top 10 still books uh, that I have, which I may be doing a video on soon. But uh, the front and the back both look really great. I really like the the rust cover here um, on the on the edges and stuff. Really great steel book. Really solid. Uh, next thing, uh, I just realized all of my steel books are kind of all stacked up here. So I guess we're going to go through a bunch of the steel books first. These aren't in any order. Uh, we've got Twister. Now, a lot of people didn't really like this steel book uh, visually. I, I agree to a certain extent. It's not the greatest, um, but it's okay. The green's kind of grown on me. Originally, I didn't like the green uh, color, but you know, it's okay. I like that it's matte and it's not gloss. I prefer matte steel books in generally because they were, you know, you're not going to have your fingerprints all over them, but it's an okay steel book. Twister on 4k. I pre-ordered this one and I got it for like $26. Um, don't know if this one's still around or still in stock, but I don't know. I just wanted to get the upgrade to Twister because I had the Blu-ray. I was like, I want to get the 4k. Might as well get the steel book if that's what I'm going to do. Uh, another still book. We've got Gremlins. Uh, this one's kind of odd. I don't think I've ever seen a still book that's this, this color brown. It's very strange. Um, front and the back here. I was actually going to put this on my Halloween still book wall. And I was like, wait a minute. Gremlins isn't a Halloween movie. It's a Christmas movie. Uh, but regardless, I got this one used for $3. I already had it on Blu-ray, but I was like, you know what? The still book's kind of interesting. And for $3, I couldn't pass it up. So I didn't pass it up. Uh, next up, we've got another still book. I got this one from the used bookstore as well. A Quiet Place Part 2 still book. Now, I have the first one on steel book and the new Quiet Place uh, day, one, uh, day one comes out in October. So next month, I think the new one comes out. So I'll have to get the still book for that. So that way I'll have all three Quiet Place movies uh, still book. I really like uh, the still book. The front and the back is pretty nice. I actually think I prefer the back maybe. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, I got this one at the used bookstore, uh, 4K for $13, which is pretty good. So happy to add that one to the collection. Another still book we've got, Atomic Blonde. I've not seen this movie since I watched it when it first came out in theaters. I went and saw it. Uh, I just remember it being okay. Just kind of a disposal uh, action movie to me. Uh, I like Charlie's Theron, but still, I don't know. It just kind of felt like a John Wick with Charlie's Theron. And then, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. But I like the steel book. The steel book's nice. I got this one at the used bookstore for four dollars, and it was kind of crazy. I very rarely see steel books with the J card still on them uh, <laughs> at the used bookstore. Uh, so, uh, but I really like the colors of this one. I really like the teal color here. I think that's teal. Would you call that teal? I don't know. I'm not an interior designer. So, anyway, uh, I do like the steel book. And we got another steel book here, World War Z. I've actually never seen this movie all the way through. I've seen parts of the movie, but I've never watched the whole movie. I actually got the Blu ray 3D last year, I think, or maybe earlier this year for $2 at the used bookstore. And I got the steel book here for a dollar. Uh, I was just like, I can't pass up a steel book for a dollar. That's the only reason I picked this one up. 
not a bad looking steel book, I don't think. Uh, but the only reason I picked it up was because it was only a dollar. Moving out of steel books, we got some lenticulars here. Toy Story 2 Blu-ray 3D. Now, I have this on VHS. I have this on DVD. I have this on Blu-ray. I have this on 4K. I've got the steel book of this as well. Um, I did not own the Blu-ray 3D. I was try I'm trying to track down all three original Toy Story movies. Uh, and get the Blu-ray 3Ds of them. I think lenticulars are pretty underrated. Uh, I'd like to do a, a lenticular uh, collection video here soon because I share with you guys lenticulars. But anyway, I'm hoping I can find one in, in three and complete this collection. I got this one of the used bookstores, $10, kind of high priced, but um, you know, it has a slip cover, which is harder to find. And you know, I'm just looking forward to checking this out in 3D. Another Disney movie we got here, Tarzan. Uh, I think this one's a pretty underrated Disney animated movie. I would put this in my top 20 Disney animated movies, I think. Got this one at the used bookstore for $6. Uh, I thought I already owned it, but I only had the DVD, so this is an upgrade for me. And I'm not going to lie, you know, I just associate this with the first Kingdom Hearts game to me. Uh, the, the Tarzan level was like one of the most fun levels in that game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to checking this out. I've not seen the movie in a while, so... Uh, looking forward to going back to check out that one. Got another Blu-ray 3D movie here, Gamer. Picked this one up for a dollar with Gerard Butler. This one came out when I worked at Blockbuster, and um, I never watched it. The premise seemed kind of interesting, and it was only a dollar. And I was like, this seems like a kind of cheesy movie that would be fun to watch in 3D. Don't know if the 3D looks any good, but again, only a dollar. Might as well go ahead and give it a shot and uh, see if it's any good. We got Justice League War. I thought I already owned this when I picked it up. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just get the Steelbook because it was used for $2. Uh, but I didn't own it. So it was uh, doubly good for me, I guess, because I do collect a lot of the uh, the uh, DC animated stuff. The more recent DC animated stuff, I don't think is as good as the earlier stuff. I definitely think there's been a dip in quality over the years. Uh, but Justice League War was okay from what I remember. But the Steelbook was $2. Uh, Might have been $3, I think. Anyway, it too had the J card still on it, which again is kind of rare. Um, uh, next, we've got another 3D movie Ninja Turtles 3D. This is the Michael Bay Turtles. Uh, I don't particularly care for this movie. Uh, I actually think the sequel was a little bit better because it was more dumb i guess and that's what made it better if that makes any sense uh but i didn't own it uh i just got it because it had the lenticular 3d and it was two dollars and i was like sure why not eventually i'll watch it again maybe maybe eventually i'll give it another shot and if i did watching a 3d might make it a little bit more fun they captured some of the characters okay in the movie but uh yeah i just was not really a fan of this one the first ninja turtles movie from 1990 is still the best ninja turtles movie um uh, Oh, we got another steelbook, uh, Little Monsters with Fred Savage and Howie Mandel of Deal or No Deal. Uh, I've only seen this movie one time when I was uh, a kid, and I remember not liking it. I remember not liking the movie at all. I thought it was creepy and not in like a fun kind of way. Uh, but um, the steelbook looks kind of nice. I kind of like the purple. The purple and blue looks kind of nice. Anyway, I got this one used for $7. I figured, sure, why not? Um, go ahead and pick it up. Maybe I'll give it another shot. I don't know. But uh, not only is Fred Savage in the movie, but Ben Savage plays his younger brother in the movie of uh, Boy Meets World. So when it, before Boy Meets World, you can see him in Little Monsters. Um, so uh, next up, we've got Ghost Town with Ricky Gervais. Uh, this is another one I picked it up for uh, $3, I think. It might have been $2. Some of these were $1 to $3. Um, but this is basically about a dentist who becomes a dentist because he doesn't like talking to people. So what better profession to be than a dentist where people can't talk back to you because you're working on their mouth all the time. I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, he sees dead people. I guess that's a more important part of the story. I see dead. He sees dead people like in Sixth Sense. But uh, anyway, kind of a comedy. Obviously, it's got Ricky Gervais in it. Uh, Last Vegas. I had, I've only seen this one one time. I saw it on streaming two years ago. This one was only a dollar. And it was okay. I like sh movies and shows that take place in, in Las Vegas. So um, I don't know. It was okay. It was only a dollar. I figured I'd go and pick it up. I may watch it again um, down the line. has a really good cast. Uh, we've got Digimon Adventure 02, The Beginning. Now, this is the sequel to the other Digimon Adventure movie that came out last year, I think, uh, Last Evolution. And uh, that one I was really surprised by. I actually really like that movie. I was a Digimon fan more so than a Pokemon fan growing up, and that one was really good. 
I've heard some mixed things about this one. I've not checked it out yet. It is just wrapped up. I actually just got this one in the mail last week, so I've not gotten around to watching it, but uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I like the Digimon 02 crew whenever I was a kid. Next up, we've got a documentary, Never Surrender. This is a Galaxy Quest documentary. Galaxy Quest is one of my favorite movies of all time. As a Star Trek fan, I... <laughs> Whenever that first came out, I was like, I really like this movie. It's one of the best Star Trek movies that's not a Star Trek movie. Uh, this documentary is really good. I've seen it a couple times. It used to be on Amazon Prime. I don't know if it still is or not. If it is and you have Prime, go check it out. Really good documentary. Uh, I wanted to own it physically because who knows how long it's going to be available uh, on streaming. Uh, this also has uh, some extended interviews that are only available through the Blu-ray release. And uh, I actually talked about this in a previous video because I pre-ordered this on Amazon and then they never sent me my movie. They kept making me uh, confirm a delay over and over again. And then they just canceled my order, which is why I don't pre-order anything from Amazon anymore because 90% of my pre-orders on Amazon have been uh, delayed or just outright canceled. So um, anyway, uh, but regardless, <laughs> definitely happy to finally pick this one up. I waited till I got back in stock and ordered it from a, a different site and, and got it. So uh, really good pickup. I really like the documentary. It's the simple things in life you treasure. Sticking on the Star Trek stuff that's not necessarily Star Trek, we've got the Orville season one and season two on DVD. They did not release Blu-rays of this. Uh, they are probably not going to release season three, which is unfortunate. I've talked about the Orville a lot on the channel. I actually reviewed every single episode of Orville season three and then a, a video uh, ranking all of the episodes for season three, which I thought was the best season. I don't. I wish they would release it physically, but they probably won't. It'd be nice to get these on Blu-ray, but they probably won't. Um, who knows if we're going to get a season four, some mixed things out there. Season three might be the last one. I don't really know. But anyway, I got these uh, at the used bookstore. Well, I didn't get it. A friend of mine bought it from me at the used bookstore and paid $10 a piece for them. Uh, so uh, yeah, like I said, I was holding out for a Blu-ray, but I don't think we're going to get one, unfortunately. Uh, so, but anyway, I'm glad to have these physically, uh, especially since I don't have Hulu or Disney anymore, which means now I can actually watch them. So that'd be good. I might actually do some episode reviews of those. I don't know. Maybe that'd be kind of fun. Uh, we've got the Matrix Trilogy 4K uh, set. I actually got this as part of the two for, for three or three for two. I'm dyslexic. Uh, three for two. So you get three movies for the price of two movies. Uh, so I ended up paying about $20 for all three movies. I just wanted the first one on 4K. The second one's okay. Not really a fan of the third one. And the fourth one I have seen, and that one's the worst out of the four. Uh, but regardless, I was like, you know what? 20 bucks for all three movies on 4K. Why not? I've heard some uh, negative things about the first movie, uh, the 4K transfer, and that they removed some of the green tenting. The green tenting is what makes it feels Matrix for me, so I don't know. But I haven't watched it myself, so th that's just what I read about it online and heard about it from a friend of mine who did watch the first one. But regardless, uh, I've not unwrapped it yet to check it out, but uh, eventually I will. Uh, we got an Arrow release, The Stuff. Uh, I picked this one up at the used bookstore. It was $20, really high price for the used bookstore. Uh, but I remember watching this whenever I was a kid. And uh, there's a YouTuber. I don't remember. His first name is Brandon. I can't remember what his last name is. But anyway, he did a video on it. And I was like, you know what? Ever since then, I've wanted to buy this one. So I was like, you know what? Yes, it's high priced. But I'm going to go and pick it up. Halloween's just a couple months away or a month away as of filming this just about. So this will be a good one to uh, watch. If you've never seen the stuff, check out the stuff because the stuff is never enough. Uh, something like that. I don't remember what the tagline was. <laughs> And another steelbook we've got here, Spirited Away. Uh, I have not opened this one yet. This was part of the three for two deal. Uh, I've just more recently started getting into more animes and things like that. Uh, after I came back from Japan, I was like, you know what? Let me check out some Miyazaki stuff. And, uh, you know, some of my friends are more into these types of movies than I am. Uh, but I was like, let me give it a chance. I really like Spirited Away. I guess this is the most mainstream one, the most normie out of the movies. I don't know. Regardless, it's still the, my favorite one that I've watched. So 
Um, when I could get it and get to get a deal on it, I was like, sure, go ahead. Pick up Spirited Away. Uh, next up is Dune Part 2. Now, I did get the slip cover. I don't normally get the slip cover with new retail releases. I normally get the Steelbook. The Steelbook was sold out, so I didn't end up getting it. I wanted to have it. The first one I have a slip cover of, so I was like, I, you know, I might as well, if part one has a slip cover, I might as well get part two with the slip cover. It, this is pretty rare. I mean, I paid $30 for it, which I don't normally do for uh, new release stuff. I normally wait for sales and things, but I wanted to go ahead and own this one right away because this is one of my favorite movies of the year. Next up is Rudy, the Steelbook. Uh, this is a 4K. I already had the Blu-ray, uh, but I heard the 4K was a pretty good step up from the Blu-ray. Um, this is still wrapped up, but I got it at the used bookstore. So I paid used price for it, even though it was still sealed. So I think it was like $19 or something like that. A little bit on the high side, but it is a steel book and it's a 4k. So, uh, and I didn't meet Sean Astin. He was a pretty nice guy. So anyway, uh, yeah, Rudy quintessential sports movie. Um, really good. I'm looking forward to checking that out on 4k. Uh, next up, we got another steel book, John wick chapter two. Uh, I already owned John wick chapter two. I just got this for the steel book. I paid $3 for it. The front's in kind of rough shape. There's some stuff on it. Hopefully I can clean it off. I haven't got around to doing that yet. Uh, but with this, I think I now have all the John wick movies on steel book, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, robots, <laughs> uh, robots. You guys remember this one? Uh, it's a, Kind of a mediocre animated movie, uh, but um, I have some personal nostalgia for it. Um, you know, they have a whole story re in regards to this movie, and that's kind of what I like about movies. There's certain movies that I like life events or, or things that happened around seeing the movie um, make the movie much better than it is. So even though this, I would say this is objectively a mediocre animated movie, it's it means more to me on a personal level. So, uh, but I didn't have it on Blu-ray and I came across it. I was like, I need to buy that. So I did, I did buy that. Uh, and next up we've got never ending story Two: the next chapter. Um, I didn't realize I had a subtitle the next chapter. I just called it never ending story Two. I already have the first one on Blu-ray. I think a 4k may be coming out here pretty soon. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but uh, I am looking forward to uh, checking this one out. I've not seen it since I was a kid. I, I obviously, I think the first one is better, but the second one I remember having um, some things that I liked about it and the direction that it took, but it's been a while since I've seen it. But I am looking forward to uh, putting it in and checking it out. Next up, we've got a TV show, uh, 12 Monkeys. Now, I've not seen this one, and I wanted to watch it, and it wasn't on streaming anywhere. So at least not in any of the streaming services that I had. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I need to buy it. I got this as part of the three for two deal um, on Target, I think. And uh, I just got this because Terry Metalis, who was a showrunner for Picard season three, who surprised me by actually giving me a, a pretty good uh, wrap up to those characters, which I didn't think was possible with uh, the state of current Star Trek. But uh, with all that, I wanted to check out his other stuff. And uh, a lot of people said 12 Monkeys was good. I like time travel stuff. Uh, I'm only a couple episodes in, uh, but I am looking forward to continuing with this show and finishing it up. Uh, pretty good cast. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, checking that out. I don't think I ended up paying with like the discounts I got for it, like $25, which isn't bad. A complete series on Blu-ray. Uh, next up is a Nicolas Cage movie. We got Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. This is the second Ghost Rider movie. I've never seen it. I've only seen the first one. I thought the first one was a, a mediocre comic book movie at the time. Uh, it probably is, hasn't aged very well, but uh, I don't know. I remember everybody hating this one, uh, but uh, it was only a dollar. So I was like, sure, why not pick it up for a dollar? Maybe I'll watch it at some point. Every once in a while, I like watching a, a bad cheesy movie. That seems like that might fit the bill. Uh, Romancing the Stone Blu-ray. I'd like to get the second one, Jewel of the Nile, as well. Uh, it'd be nice if they released some steel books of these. I think that this art would look great on a steel book. Um, but um, I've not seen this one in a little while. It's probably been about five, six years since I've seen this one. Um, without this movie, we would not have gotten uh, Back to the Future. So just fun history there, I guess, uh, uh, around it. But um, pretty solid movie. Uh, good action adventure with some romance and stuff in there, some comedy. Pretty good. Pretty good movie if you've never seen it. Uh, we got a steel book, Born Legacy. This is the Jeremy Renner one that nobody ever talks about. Uh, what, are, what are they on? Born 6? They've released six movies now. This was the fourth one. 
it was okay, I guess. The Steelbook was only $2. I figured, why not? I didn't have it. At least I don't think it's included in my Born collection that I have. I'm not really sure. But regardless, uh, the Steelbook was $2, so I figured, why not go ahead and pick it up? Um, we've got uh, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. This was a mini series that released. I watched it when it first came out. Shoot, 2015? 2016? It's been a while. I got it for a dollar. It's a DVD. Uh, I will probably go back and watch it at some point down the line. I think it's on Hulu or something. It's on a streaming service that I don't have anymore. So I figured, you know what? If I ever wanted to watch it, I might as well just go and pick it up for a dollar. Down the road, I'll be happy that I did. I remember it being uh, pretty good. Some pretty good performances. Uh, King Kong. We got a new steel book, new retail here. I got this as part of, uh, no, actually I think this was marked down. I think I paid $20 for this one. Um, have not seen this one in a while. This is the 1970s, uh, King Kong with Jeff Bridges, uh, obviously still wrapped up. So I haven't got around to checking it out. I have not seen it since I was a kid and I watched it on TV. So yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to see how it holds up. Next up, we've got a uh, History Channel uh, miniseries, The Story of All of Us, Mankind. I remember watching a couple of these episodes uh, when it first came out. Ooh, when did it come out? Twenty. It says 2012, so over a decade ago. And uh, so some of these episodes I've not seen. Some of them I have. I, I'm trying to build out some more of my documentaries and history type of, of a section for my physical media. So this definitely fits the bill. I got it used for $6, so pretty good. Um, there's more history stuff I'd like to find on Blu-ray. So, But uh, we've got that one. Uh, we've got Exodus Gods and Kings. Uh, this was like one of the first movies I reviewed here on the channel like 10 years ago. It was not a very good review because I wasn't very good back then. Not that I'm very good now, but I am better than I was then. <laughs> anyway, I was kind of disappointed with this one. I remember it, my feelings on it were just like, hey, this is kind of mediocre. I wish it was better than it was, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, some things I liked about it, but I haven't seen it since it first came out over 10 years ago. So uh, $2 at the used bookstore. I figured why not go and pick it up. Again, it's like one of those eventually I'll, I'll probably get around to watching it again and giving it another chance. Uh, Barb Wire with, with Pamela Anderson. I've never seen this movie. Uh, I obviously heard about it when I was younger. And uh, this was actually featured in the, the uh, Pam and Tommy um, Hulu series that came out that I actually talked about on my previous collection update because I picked up the uh, DVD for Pam and Tommy. So anyway, with that, I was like, you know what? Let me go and pick this one up. It was used for $4. I was like, sure, why not? Uh, again, it fits the mold of sometimes I just kind of want to watch a, uh, a bad, cheesy action movie. This might fit the bill, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the last thing we got here, Dragon Age Dawn of the Seeker. Uh, I played the first Dragon Age game. I played the second Dragon Age game. I did not play any of the other ones. I don't really play a whole lot of video games anymore, but uh, I like the world of Dragon Age. And I was like, I've never seen this. Maybe it's okay. I have no idea. It was $3 used. I figured to go ahead and pick it up. So I did. And that concludes this collection update video. Uh, I've got some stuff I'll be sharing with you guys in the next video already pulled out. And I'll be mixing in some things that I pick up between now and whenever I do the next collection update video. And like I said at the beginning, eventually I'm going to pull all of my, once I catch up, I'm going to pull all my stuff off of my shelf and start working them in. You know, I have my, my collection split up by genre. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to find things. But right now, all of my collection is all over the place. So um, with all these collection updates, I'm closer to getting to where I can pull everything off the shelf and work everything in. But I want to thank everybody for sticking around on this video. Thank you, subscribers. All of you are awesome. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all the YouTube stuff or don't. I'm not a beggar. I'm Geechu64, and I'll always tell you the truth.